Let's deconstruct the gobi masala, one of the best starters or appetizers that go with the main Indian dish. Now, because it's cauliflower, you might be like, no worries, Naif, it's a healthy option when it comes to having my traditional Indian food. And you can be right, but you can also be very, very wrong. As we know, no shit, gobi means cauliflower. So they're chopped up pieces of cauliflower that are taken and fried in various different things. So there's 25 calories in around about 100 grams of cauliflower, which is not a problem at all. It's the next part that you want to be worried about. To get this beautiful, crispy, and the very nice texture, there has to be some level of ghee and some level of olive oil or butter to create this lovely, lovely texture. No, because it's actually really cool, but I'm fucking on, I'm on a car, I'm on a fucking diet. So once you've got the gobi and you're taking it around and putting the spices in it, you've got the usual garlic, ginger, tomato puree, the paste, the cumin, the garam masala, and the mustard seeds that create that little bit of spice, and obviously the green chilies if you're going to be about that light. And then combining that together and frying it all together is where then it's absolutely a harmless dish. But getting to the point where you are frying it or you are putting it in a pan requires then some oil. So one tablespoon of olive oil is around about 120 calories, and that's the same for ghee as well. Olive oil, ghee one tablespoon, 120 calories. So you've took something that is 25 calories in nature, and you've added some seasonings and spices to it, which are zero calories or very, very minimal. And just by having those 25 calories and then frying them in a frying pan, you've added 120 to the serving size. And that is just if you're specific to one tablespoon. So it can be a really, really good alternative to a meal. Very good level of veggies, the minerals and vitamins that come from this and the seasoning. Not careful in the way that you cook it and in the quantity of the oils that you utilize, you turn something that's 25 calories into something that's over 150 calories. That can be the difference between losing fat and not losing anything at all if done over multiple days. If you want more videos like this, smash the like button, comment what you'd like to see me deconstruct and understand from a food and calorie perspective, and maybe dampen the mood a little bit on the Indian food.